Discovery, returning to the space station, taking the way for future missions beyond. Wow, quite a difference. Quite a difference in sound level. But how do we measure these sound levels? And what is sound anyway? So why, as filmmakers, are we interested in decibels? Here you can see in some editing software how decibels are used to show the overall volume, the volume per track, and the volume per clip. Sound is movement of air. So we will be measuring this by measuring the SPL, the sound pressure level. Here are some examples of sound pressure levels. These examples vary from 20 decibels, just a whisper, to 140 decibels. So what is a dB or a decibel? Put simply, it's a way to describe the ratio of two values. Taking it a bit further, the decibel or dB is a logarithmic way of describing a ratio. When using decibels to measure sound, we're comparing sound levels to a known level called the threshold of hearing, which is the quietest sound that a person can hear. More on that later. But decibels do not necessarily relate just to sound. The ratio may be of voltages, powers, sound pressure levels, or other values. In comparing the power of these two speakers, the ratio of the power is two. We can express this in bells, named after Alexander Graham Bell, by calculating the log of two, which is 0 0.301. But we normally express this in decibels. Note that one bell equals 10 decibels. So this ratio of two expressed in decibels is three decibels. Because decibels measure ratios, these decibels must refer to something. Well, they do. As I said earlier, when it comes to sound, they measure the lowest level that a person can hear, the threshold of hearing. For the technically minded, that's been defined as 20 micropascals. So a whisper is 20 decibels louder than the threshold of hearing. But the diagram shows these values as D, B, A. So what's all this A about? The human ear hears differently at different pitches measured in hertz. We don't hear so well at high pitched sounds and not at all above 20 kilohertz. So to make these decibel values more meaningful, a filter or weighting is applied to the decibel values so they then simulate what humans experience rather than a flat frequency response. This filter weighting is known as A weighting, hence DBA. We've talked about the reference in relation to the sound being the threshold of hearing. But there are other references used. DBM refers to one milliwatt when measuring milliwatts. dBV refers to one volt when measuring volts. There are other ways that decibels are used. Here, we measure how the level has changed at one kilohertz. It's not the same level at all frequencies. Before, we talked about using 10 log to arrive at the measurement in decibels. However, you may come across a formula in 20 log instead of 10 log. 
If you monitor a voltage, as the voltage doubles, the current will also double. So the power, which is volts multiplied by current, will not be twice, but four times the power, hence 20 log instead of 10 log. As I said before, decibels measure a ratio. So there must always be a reference level. Without a reference level, decibels would be meaningless.